Hey folks, and welcome to the insider's view of building your data center one DSE resource at a time. I'm Jason Helmick with Plural Site, and you know, we're getting ready to do some major interviews to show you how to work with a lot of DSE resources. And I'm joined today by my personal superhero of the PowerShell team, He-Man. Everybody say yay. <laughs> Thanks Hi. for being here with us today. Why don't you start off by telling everybody who you are and what you do, and then we'll dive in to talk a little bit about the resource that we're looking at. Oh, uh, I'm He-Man, I'm a superhero. There you go, that's uh, what no, I like. um, uh, uh, My name is Hemant Mahavar. I'm a senior program manager in PowerShell team, and I've been doing PowerShell for the last nine years in different flavors, different versions. So if you're using any version of PowerShell, there's some of my fault you are dealing with. <laughs> Your fault, right. It's actually the really good stuff that works the best that yeah. you've And done. that too as well. And that too as well. Now, you're going to go in and do an interview with uh, Don Jones and do lots of demos and examples. And this is about a resource that can really impact a, a lot of businesses. This is the X Active Directory resource. Tell us why, first of all, why did you even want to make this resource? It sounds like this is going to be a complicated no one's going to love you for it later kind of resource? Uh, depends. If my coding skill is where I want it to be, then people are going to love it, but reality is slightly different. Uh, the reason is uh, we, we end, I, I ended up with writing that module which deals with Active Directory is anytime we do a demo, anytime you have a lab environment or a test environment, there's always a need to have a domain controller. Anytime we try to repro a user bug or issue, Sometimes we end up saying, oh, let's create a separate environment, deploy these things, and see if we can repro. So standing up a domain comes a lot. So that was the initial attempt why we had it and why we started with the active uh, uh, domain controller resource. And then over time, there were a couple of scenarios we played with. One of them is called Safe Harbor, where we said, oh, assume that your corporate environment is breached and you want to create an isolated environment and move your things off right. that uh, compromise environment. Uh, there we ended up having two domain controllers and then having a structure or resources which lets you stand domain controller. I don't care whether it's one, two, or 10. Hopefully it's not in hundreds, but people do have more than one domain controller. So having that code ready and configurations, that helps a lot. Now, this is great then for lab environments, safe harbor, you have to do stuff like that. In a business in general, would they start using this resource to basically just handle all their future domain controller needs, do you think? Uh, so right now, this uh, resource hand, or this module has a couple of resources, so I don't claim that we have covered all the aspect of Active Directory management, but definitely there is uh, creating the domain. It doesn't deal with forests at this point. Uh, domain controllers, uh, creating AD users, and a notion of saying, I want to wait for the domain to be ready. Now, you, you have this capability of, I want to wait for the domain to be ready. Why do you have that in there? So that, that's a good point. So anytime you are setting up a new environment, you will have a domain and you'll have some machine that you want to join to the domain. So you have a couple of approaches. You can say, hey, I'll, I'll create a domain controller, wait for it to finish, I don't know how, gone, how long it's going to take, so I don't know when I can move out of my seat. And once it's done, then I can kick off other machines to join the domain and go and grab my coffee. Or you can say, hey, I want to start all of them together, and those machines which have to join domain, they can wait. And they can periodically and ping and check. They can figure it out rather exactly. than have me be the one figuring so it out. So it's actually a runtime check or runtime wait versus a manual wait of me sitting. So that time I save, I can go and grab lunch, coffee and bagel or whatever. I like this concept a lot better because I don't have to work as much. Now, um, are you? Gonna, I don't want to put you on the spot, but are you going to get a chance to maybe show that when you're doing the interview? Oh, yes, definitely. When I do the interview, there are a couple of uh, uh, demos that I'm going to do, which I kind of feel a bit afraid about whether they go, <laughs> they're going to work or not. But given the resources they have been written, and I know uh, how to use them, it helps me go and take bigger challenges for the demo without worrying of the failures. I like the approach a lot. This is gonna be, this is gonna be fun to watch. This oh yeah, definitely. A there lot are, of fun to watch. There are a lot of things there which two years ago, I would be like, I don't know whether it's gonna work or not, but today with DSC and the resources and the, the quality of those resources, especially in Active Directory uh, module, I feel confident of doing any demo. <laughs> I love it, can't wait to see it. Hey folks, 
do not miss the DSC resource on X Active Directory. Come to the, whatever this link is somewhere around here, and that link will take you to where you need to go. You'll see all of the demos. You'll be able to get all the demo codes. So make sure you don't miss building your data center one DSE resource at a time.